my 24m girlfriend 21f are seeing each other for the first time in 11 months but she doesn't have feelings for me anymore so i'm all over the place forgive me if this at all seems like a rant so to give you the short version of this my girlfriend disconnected from our relationship a few months back and doesn't really have any feelings towards me anymore she was stuck behind the border during covid me being american and her canadian so we weren't able to see each other for about 11 months during the early months of lockdown i was finishing my semester and kind of became emotionally unavailable retreating into myself is sort of my defense mechanism I know it's not good and I've been working at it hard, but during that time when I wasn't there when she needed me to be, she disconnected. She did it to save herself from hurting. We hung on loosely as we didn't want to just scrap a three-year relationship and all the good times we've had. Actually really came to my senses during this time, realizing that she wasn't a guaranteed constant and that the way I act affects other people. I didn't want to give up on her. I wasn't sure if it was a combination of depression, the lockdown, and the distance that really accentuated her feelings. So we agreed to meet up and try to work things out. She t- told me from the beginning to not have hope of it working out but I still clung to the idea that I would show up in person and it would all go back to the way things were, it had been 11 months, it's now day 4 of the 2 week trip and she still feels no real connection with me, she says she loves me and cares a lot about me, but that she doesn't feel that connection she had, she also hates seeing me hurting, we still cuddle and all that but she says that it's just her trying to make it work and that it's a little weird for her still, that at most she's just comfortable. Last night was really bad. We tried to kiss and she said she felt nothing. She says she wants to go back to how we were. Said she wishes she could flip a switch and make it come back, but she doesn't know how. I'm trying to hold on and, really, make her fall back in love with me. I just really don't know how. I don't know what to do in this situation. Too long didn't read, girlfriend fell out of love with me and I'm trying to get her back during the first time we've seen each other in 11 months. Stop pressuring her to do physical things with you. This trip is a bad idea to continue. She doesn't feel the same way and you need to realize it won't go back. Please move on. If there's even a chance you can bring it back. You need to start by apologizing and owning up to not being available to her during a time she needed you. I understand it's a defense mechanism you have and you try hard at it, but it's not going to work if you think it'll be okay for that reason. She needs to be willing to understand the reason behind your emotional unavailability, and be able to believe that you won't do things like this again. After all, you shutting down as a defense mechanism not only makes you unavailable as an outlet, but also hurts the trust of a relationship. I'm sure now she thinks that you aren't able to tell her when things are seriously affecting your life, so she doesn't know if she wants to continue the relationship or not. Do your best to get her to believe you'll never break the trust of that relationship again. If you can't then you need to accept that the relationship is over, and move on. Also, stop trying to do physical things, that's not what is going to re-spark the relationship at all. You need to truly emotionally connect with her, rather than try to remind her of what the relationship was like. As far as it's concerned, you're completely starting over. You have to earn her trust again, as well as her willingness to be with you physically. First off, play it cool mate, focus on making her laugh again, and have fun, remind her what she loved about you and remind yourself why you loved her. Tell her face to face if you haven't yet, that you are sorry for how you neglected the relationship and let her know you understand it will take time for her to forgive you fully. Lastly just focus on having a good time. You haven't seen her in a while and I'm sure she's still hurt from how things went. Don't spend a bunch of energy trying to worry about some past expectation. Best thing you two can do is get out of the house and do some fun activities together. You need to bond. You haven't seen each other in almost a year. You two should basically be going on dates every day or doing activates for the next two weeks. Go on light hikes and sightsee, look at the Christmas lights at night on all the houses, make food together, smoke a joint or two or take edibles, make some homemade eggnog and decorate gingerbread houses together or go out to eat, order in and set the table up all fancy and have some candlelight, make a fort and have a cute movie night with popcorn and cocoa whatever. Just do fun couple shit, if the spark is still there, this will definitely light the flame. 
you can't make anyone love you, it's over. Take it from someone who has said I don't love you and been guilted into drawing out a breakup for months, because men love hearing harass me into a different set of emotions when they hear no, she still cares about you now, but will resent you forever if you make her go through this. I think you misunderstand my wants. I would never want to, let alone be able to, force her into something that hurt her. If she truly wants to move on after this then I won't stop her. This is just both of us attempting to work through something. It hurts, but I just want her to be happy in the end. My friend, 21M, just texted me telling me that he needed a break from talking to me, 21M. I have a friend dealing with depression and fears of isolation right now and unfortunately I'm not in the greatest mindset either. We've been talking a lot for over a year, we met online through Reddit on our college sub, but recently he just texted me saying that my mentality on lifestyles is not helpful to his battle against depression and isolation and that he needs a week long break from talking to me. For some background information, I have a relatively negative worldview and perception of myself which I share with him. My worldview includes idealizing a lifestyle where I stay single forever, am working from home in a well paid tech job isolated in an apartment I'm very familiar with, and rarely leave the apartment while having everything delivered. I shared this with him despite him telling me that he fears living a hikikomori lifestyle, which I realized I was basically advocating. I also have a very nihilistic outlook on life and I frequently talk about how nothing really matters in the end. He's trying to turn to Christianity for a more positive outlook and I've been casually talking about my atheistic and nihilistic worldview with him whenever he asks about religion, which in hindsight is a horrible thing to share with someone who is depressed. Anyways, he unexpectedly messaged me recently letting me know that although he does like talking to me, he feels like he needs a break from talking to me because my mindset is not helpful with his battle against depression. He said he'd message me in a week and that it wasn't my fault, but I still feel like I'm at fault here. I can add more details in the comments. But when he sent that I just had a feeling that he wasn't going to message me again. Do you think this is a nicer way of breaking up a friendship? I apologized for making him feel this way and he replied it's not your fault it's just not what I need ATM and it's okay. I just have a feeling that after this week he's going to phase out the friendship. TL, doctor I have a depressed friend who recently told me that due to my mindset on life. Although he does enjoy talking to me he feels like he needs to take a week long break from messaging me because my nihilistic mindset is not helpful with his battle against depression. Do you think this is just a nice way of breaking up? Don't take this personally but your outlook needs a change up. Nihilism will eventually lead you downward. It never leads anywhere good. When you realize many things have inherent value, then you'll truly discover a reason for even existing. It seems both of you could use this kind of epiphany. I was in your place once, suicidally depressed, and even nearly made an attempt on my own life. There's so much more to life once you realize the negative dwelling isn't good for you. You've got to become sick of feeling like shit. And you'll make the necessary changes in your life to be better off. I don't think you're quite the person to be around for a person in his mindset right now. Negativity and opposing his idea of getting better is toxic. I don't think it necessarily means a breakup in the friendship, but it's probably good that he's distancing himself from you right now because being around negativity when you are depressed is not good. He's also basically telling you what he needs right now, a supportive friend rather than a negative one. If you are not able to be that kind of friend to him, then it may very well be a breakup. Honestly negativity plus negativity doesn't produce a good outcome in any way. I wouldn't be surprised if he was trying to make distance, at least for a while, from you and your low-key negative view of life because it's most likely dragging him down especially if he's trying to break out of such a cycle and you're just encouraging him to stay in this rut alongside you. If you're a decent friend, 
don't make this about you, let him reach out to you again when he is a bit more emotionally and mentally stable and is not as easily affected by your views, he probably can't formulate his own healthy ones if as you said you guys are always together and he always hear your low key not going to lie, toxic hermit ones. Don't suffocate him, focus on other things. Yes. Doesn't sound like you have much in common, so he wants to create space between you. Moving forward, you'll probably remain as acquaintances rather than friends. Me, 21M. My girlfriend, 22F, is deeply in love with me but I want to break up without hurting her feelings. What should I do? Me, 21M, with my girlfriend, 22F, 3 years relationship, want to break up but I'm struggling with it, too long didn't read, she loves me so bad and I wanna break up what should I do, I've been seeing this girl for 3 years now, we've become as close as two people can possibly be and, she's still planning her future with me being her husband and the father of her children, it was good for a while, but now I realize I really don't want to spend my whole life with her, I really need someone who can take care of themselves to some extent and doesn't completely rely on me for happiness, and right now, I just need to be on my own for at least a few months, I got responsibilities, and honestly, I'm catching feelings for someone else, she has mentioned that she feels that she would die if I ever left her, I have no idea how to go about ending it without destroying her life, I want things to go back to the way they were before, She's already depressed because she failed her final exams and couldn't get over it, I've been so supportive but toxicity is getting out of my control, I would do absolutely anything to fix this, she is the best person I've ever met, far better than me, she's selfless and caring on a Mother Teresa level, she's my best friend and I really really need her to be okay, please help. Resolve not to back down, you will be very tempted to change your mind when she is crying, when you're crying, when she says she can't live without you, in the moment it will feel like the right thing to do, anything to stop the crying and bad feelings, right? But it's actually awful because you're only putting off the inevitable, then you both have to go through the exact same emotional breakup discussion again in a few weeks or months or years, eek, that's traumatic, do it once, I've been on both sides, I've had my heart absolutely shattered and I've been the bad guy, neither side is fun, you have to be okay with being the bad guy, there's really no way to break up and make her feel good, that only happens if she is relieved because she has been secretly wondering how to break up with you, and that isn't a likely scenario here, don't call her up if your new interest wants to keep things as just friends or if that relationship crashes, if you end up lonely then deal with it, don't drag her back in, don't hint that you might change your mind in the future, don't try to be her BFF after the breakup, she needs to heal and you can't be the one she leans on, if you're worried about her mental health let her roommates, best friend, closest sibling, and or parents know they need to keep an eye on her, if she has made concerning statements about hurting herself then let them know what she said so they understand how serious it is. Be kind with her 3 years is a long time and she has no idea you want someone else. There is no way to not hurt her. Don't lead her on anymore. Let her know you don't feel the same and you don't want to work on it. Uncouple with her respectfully and then let her know you'll be spending less time with her and want to be supportive, but you've made up your mind. She will try to win you back, she may get angry. Be respectful and patient, but firm in your resolve. Do not shove the other person in her face. Good on you for recognizing that this is not what you want and being realistic. There is no way to avoid her feelings being hurt no matter what you do. You're just going to have to let her know that this isn't working out for you and it is over. Do not get sucked into 8 hour long conversations about it. So no need to really care about her mental health. I just see have to go smooth and end it nicely.